It's the 11th fight in what has been already an awesome night. Introducing first, Matt Natard. Radio. so now we have Matt Natard, the Dirty Deaf, fighting out of Bunchu Jim, being trained by John Wayne Parr and also Daniel Almeida rounding out the coaching team. Looking forward to seeing what he brings to the table here. He's made his way to the cage four times before. This is his fifth outing currently with a two win, two loss record. At this stage, he's been working on movement. What do you reckon, guys? He had a really impressive grappling in his last fight on XFC. Yeah, coming from a striking gym, we yeah, all thought yeah. we were going to see a striking uh, episode, but yeah, it was on the ground, wasn't it? But then there was, um, I can't quite remember the name of his opponent, Dimitri maybe, but he just just out, out cardioed him in the end, took home a real, really probably the closest fight of the night that night. So obviously he can fight all three rounds, Jiu-Jitsu purple belt, trains a boon juice, and no doubt his striking's got better over that time. Well, similar thing, mate. He's got he's uh, also been fighting Muay Thai, eight years of BJJ. He's also previously won the IMMAF welterweight gold medal in C-Class. So he certainly hasn't been a stranger to the cage and has been building on his skill set already. One of the things he's really been working on is his movement, making sure it's on song. So I'm expecting to see a lot of that in the cage tonight. Really looking forward to this, this fight tonight. Yeah, I guess we'll quickly touch on the, the foul Barque uh, incident as well. I obviously didn't get a chance to talk too much while that um, highlight package has gone on because it's such a sad situation. But um, yeah, the, there's always a stigma in MMA. That, you know, everyone, everyone's pretty tough and all that sort of stuff. But I tell you what, the uh, the support that foul Barque is getting from the, the MMA community and city kickboxing in terms of pushing for this stop the coward punch agenda really has to kick up some legs over in New Zealand. Yeah, certainly agree, mate. I've, I've met the uh, Bill of RK boys and uh, they're some of the nicest blokes you can, you can get, uh, especially outside of the cage. Uh, so super friendly and it's just really, really sad to lose one of our own in such really, really poor circumstances. Yeah, and, and as sad as it is that we lost a, a great fighter, it, it's his daughter, mate. He's three-year-old that makes me want to cry, you know what I mean? And his loved ones and his brothers. We never once saw him and his brothers not together. And to completely lose a best friend, got to be gut-wrenching, but... Here we go. And his opponent in the red corner. Give it up for Andrew Patara. Now I'm hearing some really, really impressive things from this Andrew Patara. I was speaking to Jason Lonigan, Gamebred head coach the other day. He told me a quick story where Victor Lyle, probably one of the toughest human beings you'll ever meet, had him in a headlock, had him in like a standing guillotine. And instead of defending like you normally would by sticking your head up to the ceiling, he actually ran backwards up over the cage and did a flip over Victor Lyle. Can you imagine seeing that? Why can't we see that tonight? I could almost imagine Victor Lyle looking at Jason London and going, and how the hell do I defend that? <laughs> and I'm sure the game bred, the game bred fighters are trying to outdo each other. So it's going to be pretty, pretty tough to outdo Luke Brinkworth earlier on, but I think a backflip rear naked choke might just do it. So yeah. boys, in, in your gyms, obviously yourself, Ben Pepper as well, head coach out at Growstrong, you see a lot of gyms in America, they actually have security cameras, well not security cameras, but cameras everywhere watching their footage. Have you ever thought of doing something about that in the cage in your uh, gym as well? Yeah, yeah, we, 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 we're looking at filming more sparring footage more than anything, but it's like an extra expense where, well, how would you put it, functional. That's how That's I like right. to explain that gym. I certainly agree with the filming and the footage stuff. Uh, as an older statesman uh, hitting the big 4-0 this year, I always used to film every single sparring round and comp that I had. And the reason for it is you can break it down both in terms of what you can do better, what you would, how you would beat yourself. So there's certainly um, many, many opportunities of doing that. It uh, saves a bit of the head trauma and taking the strikes over and over. So I, I'm certainly 100% for it and um, certainly do it myself. And boys yourself now in terms of sparring, what sort of percentage are you going at now? Uh, recently I've had a bunch of injuries, but we go probably at a reasonable tempo with not a lot of power. And about a month out from a fight, we'll have four or five sparring sessions that are harder than what the fight will be. And then we'll taper it back for the last three weeks. So you this still next have a good fight tempo is a lightweight fight. 
with three by three minute rounds. Introducing first in the blue corner. Weighing in at 69.8 kilos with a record of two wins, two losses. Fighting out of Bunju Muay Thai, Matt Dirty Neff Natan. And his opponent. Fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in at 69.8 kilograms. Training out of Game Brand Academy. This is his MMA debut. Give it up for Andrew A.P. Patera. Your referee in charge is Phil something. Feels like something special in the air, doesn't it? It certainly is. Team Lee, mate. I'm, I'm, I'm really excited about this one. I can't wait. Look at the intensity coming out of Natar as well. Confidence coming out of Patara. And we've got Phil Cassidy. Oh, beautiful. Phil Cassidy Gross helping off. in the referee piece here. Beautiful timing. Nice oh, entry. Oh, so strong. Jesus. And the boys are right if, in front of us here. If the cage wasn't Look worse. how strong he is. Oh, huge oh, knee. Holy. Pulled that knee up about six feet. Wow, just the pressure coming from both of them. These are both physical specimens. You know what they're doing in the cage here. The got strength it. coming from Patara straight from the start. But Matt's doing a good job here, limiting his uh, physical attributes here. That's how you do it. If you're the less athletic, but better grappler, that's where you want to be. Stick him to the fence, start working him, drag him down against the fence. But beautiful technique here, nice head pressure. And what we can see here is Andrew's done a great job on lowering his head more than Matt's. Ooh. What I love seeing is this is actually the third show in a row where XFC has had Boonshaw on the cards. I love the fact that not only are they, they bringing in MMA fighters, but it tells me that they're actually... Oh, the uppercut's Ooh. coming! Oh! oh. oh. He's moving, he's moving! He's moving. The ref stops oh, him! Stops him. Oh. oh my god! That is as impressive as a debut as you will ever see. How many moments tonight have we been sitting here absolutely oh shocked? My god. Oh. And Matt is not happy at all. But Phil did what he did for that reason to protect our fighters in this stage here. Great to see the respect there from Jason Lonigan jumping straight in, checking out the. I know this shouldn't be fighter. taking into account, but does Christian Marino have the worst outfit on you've ever seen in your life? <laughs> oh. What a fight! Oh my gosh! And then such a level of respect here. And that's the point. As a fighter, you need to protect yourself at all times. We just saw the replay there. I thought he was going to get out of that. He started fighting back a little bit, but the Tara just didn't give him an inch, did he? Nah, too heavy. The volume was too much. And as the ref, if you see someone go down and someone swarms on him like that, it's hard to let him keep going. Hard to let the defender keep going. Such a level of intensity and speed. He was on top and he was throwing them from almost at his back. He's hooking those ones in. And again, you tell any any fan of MMA right now and say that that was that kid's MMA debut, yeah. they would want to punch you in the face for lying. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, that's the piece, like the record sometimes, we never know how much these guys have been preparing in the gym. And you can certainly see he was ready to walk out there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the referee stopped this fight in round one at one minute and 21 seconds by TKO, and your winner, Andrew A.P. Patera! I'm, I'm actually filthy right now. Let's run that fight back yeah, again. Yeah. Let's watch those boys go at it it's straight away. It's that thing away. of knowing, like you said before, knowing that you're not going to see them for month, at least months until they fight again, you know? Look, right now, why can't we just have a gentleman's agreement, a handshake, say, you know what, let's restart that. Yeah. False start, let's go again. That was phenomenal by both boys. Yeah, I, I certainly agree on that piece. Um, the thing is, though, is Andrew gave Phil Cassidy no option but to stop that fight. But I'd love to see it again. 
And again, I'm absolutely disgusted at the fact that Christian Marino is wearing that onesie. <laughs> a flamingo I feel onesie like in the cage some right stuff now. To say, baby. <laughs> he is looking thicker than a sneaker. How are you feeling? Yeah, really good. Um, good fight, I guess. For as long as it lasted, but man, uh, my opponent over there. Some of us get caught up with sort of the uh, fight night fucking mentality, right? At the end of the day, bro, we're all just fucking dudes that want to fight. You know, it is what it is. <laughs> but yeah, big thank you to my gym, my training partners, all the Game Bread Academy. Also, a special mention to. Um, Mine, Christophe Sin at Karma Muay Thai. Without him, my striker would be nothing. So yeah, thank you everyone. Before you go, Andrew, that relaxed approach, almost playful as you entered the cage. Why is that? Oh man, I like to put on a show. <laughs> That's all it is. Uh, give everyone their money's worth. <laughs> Let's go.